And as we wrap that up, I'm going to invite our general evaluator, Bonadeo, to explain his role here. Thank you very much, Slate. It looks like we have less than 20 minutes to go with this meeting, so I'll make the evaluations portion uh, very fast. Technic for evaluations is essentially the last part of this meeting. As general evaluator, I will lead the session by calling up the evaluators who will then judge our three speakers of the day on what they did perfectly and very well in their speech and what they can improve for future speeches, which is the main purpose of our club, to improve our public speaking. So let me introduce our first evaluator of the day, Fahim Salawala, who will evaluate Tyler Burnett's speech. Ooh, remember what I know, and what you don't, right? <laughs> but overall, great speech. I initially didn't know what I was going to expect because I saw mixed martial arts 101, and I started thinking judo, keto, like all the O's at the end of everything. And then you could bring up the whole presentation with jujitsu and muay thai, and I was like, interesting. Two I've heard about, but don't know enough of. So I was expecting something very in depth, and you brought visuals. The great use of visuals with your pads, your gi, your tape, gloves, all the good stuff. And the presentation, great, encompassed a lot of things from how to use the, how the sport or how a form of defense is used in a sport as well as a form of defense. One critique on that though is that you kept looking at the presentation more than the audience. Every time you wanted to go to the next slide, you look at the presentation read a bit more than you'd be, and look back at it, and sometimes verbatim, just read what was on the slide. It seemed like you were, knew what you knew, but you didn't know how to express it. Like, you would have to like read it off to really know what you were saying. And that's one thing that I noticed that was a big thing. Second thing that you had that was amazing was your demonstration. You uh, uh, demonstrated quite well on Renner. I think he was very glad by the end of the whole speech. <laughs> Face glowing red with happiness. I could see it, smiling big. Loved it. Problem with that was that when you were doing these demonstrations, sometimes we're on the floor and sometimes it'd be one sided. We had the crowd members standing up and actively like trying to see over, or trying to go shift seats to see what you were doing. So, one thing that you could improve on, and I feel like this would be the vital thing that you could be improving on because notes people will always use, they're always helpful. But one thing that you could do is the demonstrations and any, I guess, objects like you did with the gi and like all the other stuff where we pass it out. If you could demonstrate more along the lines of like techniques and stuff like that, that the whole crowd could see visually rather than like try to like get out their seats and reach above and beyond. But overall, it was great. You had great use of space. You roamed around, use the whole space that I feel like most people don't actually re really use. I think the other two speakers were stuck in the same spot the whole time, unless they were going for the clicker. But overall, you used the space well. You enjoyed it. It seemed like you had a lot more fun as well. The only part I thought that could have gotten ugly was when Anuru started punching, and I was like, ooh, someone might get hurt. Do we need to call 911? We'll find out. But overall, I loved your speech, and I think everyone did as well. So thank you. Thank you, Benin, for that evaluation. I will now introduce our second evaluator of the day, Tyler Chan, who will be evaluating. Well, actually, yeah. so, yeah. Jose, you actually, okay. Okay. Awesome. So you actually have an evaluation for yeah. cool. So Jose Reyes, who will my my first evaluation. That's perfectly really fine. So Jose Reyes will be evaluating FR Salawala. Hi, FR. So was this your very first speech? No. It was your second speech. Yes. How'd you know? Huh? How'd you know? Well, uh, but he here asked if if this is going to be your your ice your 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 icebreaker speech, and you said yes. Uh, icebreaker is like I'm breaking the ice between talking. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <God. laughs> so <laughs> it is. It, it is okay. All right. So this was speech two, um, for you. First of all, I I just I just want to start by to say when 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 you first came on on the stage, I just loved how you came up here and you're like, all right, guys, and you and you were just you you were as glad as 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 can be just to be on um, on the stage. Mm -hmm. Now, when when you first be, be, began began to speak, what I would have loved to hear was you give out um, a give out a story of yourself and and how you yourself would 
would face um, a backlash when, when, when you try to argue with someone or for them to try to, to, to take in your, your point. You, you just kind of jump straight. You just kind of jump, jump straight into, all right, guys, this is how we are going to, 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 uh, to argue. We have step one, step two, and step three. And like that is great, and but from from me trying, I'm um, trying, trying to follow, to actually follow where you are. It was a bit kind of jarring. I was like, wait, so we're just kind of going straight, straight, straight into it. Having that short story at the start would have helped me um, just kind of un, um, un, under under understand you more. Um, when you had the um, your your slide up front. Um, I I love love loved how even though you, your slides were up top, your eyes were faced towards towards all this people time. You kind of look back at, at, at every every now and then, but your eyes were always focused on us. Um, when now when now when you're, now when you're back on the stage, what I would love to see from, from you is to, to to see you move more to to move more 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 around the stage. What was great though is that I saw how your hands when you spoke. Every time you said we're gonna do this, or like you would always kind of kind of a uh, motion before you were, before you were going to say something, which I thought was great. Um, oh, um, overall, I say your your speech was great, and we all love to hear your speech, and I would love to hear your third speech too. <laughs> uh, for your evaluation, and now our third and last evaluator for the day, Anur Bekulash, will be evaluating Yijian Mama for his speech. Thank you. Yijian, this is your third speech, and it's looking like this is your third speech, right? Third, third, third. Third, okay. I just saw number three on the... So yeah, great job with the speech overall. I liked how you had a presentation, and you didn't really read off the presentation. One thing you did very well is you had very active eye contact. You were always, you weren't just looking at one part of the room, you were always looking at different parts of the room, and you weren't really relying on this, except when you were reading the quote, which is fine. And I liked how you stood kind of here. It wasn't directly in the center, you stood a little bit to the side. And from where I was sitting, that looked very balanced, because you have the entirety of your presentation and you have you. So it's very good balance here. And I noticed whenever you would start talking about certain topics, you would go forward, maybe motion with your hands. That was good. I feel like you could have done that a little bit more. You have th this whole space to work with. And this was really good when you did the knocking as an example. That was very good, very uh, illustrative, and a good example. But again, I feel like you could have really used this whole space. You you were going around a little bit, like you would go forward a little bit, but then you just kind of hesitated and backed off. So you could really use the stage presence to help amplify your speech. And in addition, um, I noticed as you were talking, there would be points where you would think, Ooh, what am I going to say next? What would I talk about? And so there were these pauses that kind of didn't make sense to pause there. So one thing that could help you there is you could have a slide of like big bullet point ideas. So you just quickly glance over, make it seem completely natural, and be like, okay, I'm gonna talk about Michael Jordan next. Like a quick refresher for your brain, and you go off on the anecdote. Um, other than that, I love the anecdote, talking about uh, Michael Jordan, and really walking us through his life story, his life experience, and tying it back in to what your overall goal of the speech is, where if you don't, if you don't succeed, try, try again. And, the transition at the end was very good. It was very wholesome and closing. The transition in the, in the middle, where you read off the quote, you read the quote, and we could kind of make our own inferences of it, but I feel like you needed one line right there where you said, where you really tied it up. Because from after you read the Michael Jordan quote, you instantly jumped to the next part. It felt a little bit sudden and abrupt. But overall, everything else, the transition was smooth and very good. And this was also a very good speech, and I look forward to hearing you next one. Now I would like to, before giving my evaluation, introduce the grammarian of the day for her report, <laughs> Patricia. Uh, congrats to everyone who used the word of the day, believe the F bar, because only one Nijin, you did try to use it, but it was the incorrect word. Um, so good job, F bar. As a general note to everyone, uh, since we are 
giving speeches and in terms of more formal. So slang like gonna, wanna, go instead of gonna, going to, wanna, want to, as well as using the word things that is a lot, uh, a word that comes up repeatedly. Um, so I will go through specifically for the speakers of where those are. So for Tyler, uh, there was like introducing Gracie family, which is, Gracie family is like collective people, so who are, who is. Um, oh, and then here's an example of things. So opens up to different things, so specifying different moves. There was also a point, there is no anything, there is nothing, um, that's the three there. And then FR, uh, another one was saying the biggest thing, so maybe the biggest tip or advice. Then you said water is smooth and flowy, maybe flows easily. I'm not exactly sure if flow is correct right there. Um, uh, and then Eugene, there's the, then in your speech you said there's these two things called fixed and growth mindset, there's these two ideas. So just to getting that specificity. We're generally pretty good. Uh, then you were just a little bit short with 58 seconds, looking for that one minute minimum. Uh, Presley, you'll say you were at 48 seconds, so a little bit short. Everyone else was over a minute. And with the speeches, uh, Yishan was at 7.45 for a five to seven minute speech. FR was at 6.52 for a six to eight minute speech, right in the middle there. And Tyler was at 30 minutes and seven seconds for a 20 plus minute speech. Thank you. After my evaluation, it looks like I have less than five minutes to do it. First evaluator for today, Fahim, you did not do anything physical with regards to having a paper up on stage while giving an evaluation, although I did see a little contraption you made on your desk allowing you to see that. I know, pretty smart. Couldn't see it. No, I'm saying that's pretty smart. Uh, oh. um, overall, it just allows you to not get distracted by the page while giving an evaluation and really paying full attention to the person you're evaluating. And also, you know, have 
make some like a piece of paper to slap to you and the audience. Now, one thing I would improve is you kept moving like this. Remember, move with purpose. If you're trying to demonstrate that an individual should move better on the stage or use the stage more, then that's a good usage of your movement across the stage. But you kept like leaning back and forth. So I would just work on that. Jose, overall great job with using specific examples and ways that uh, FR could improve his speech overall. One thing I noticed at the beginning of your speech is your eye contact was actually at the ceiling for the first five seconds, but you fixed that. But just be cogn cognizant of that for future evaluation. Good job overall. Now, Lenore, again, great job similar to uh, Jose by using specific examples and suggestions of how specifically Yi Jian could improve his, his speech overall. And one thing I would improve is just the miscommunication on understanding if that was his first or third speech. It's a really nitpicky thing. I mean, it's not a big deal. Just ask him beforehand. That's it. Now for the meeting overall, Toastmaster of the Day slate. Wow, just the preparation that he had in getting this meeting together. He asked me, not on Monday, like today, or Sunday, or Saturday. He asked me Friday if I'm going to do my role. That is the preparation we need to have for Toastmasters in general not at the last second or anything of that sort. So Slate was able to get on it, making sure that everyone has their role in, and at the last second, he wasn't stressed, even though some people weren't able to make it on time. He just, you know, was on it no matter what. Overall, great job with that. One thing I would improve is just ensuring that you do explain the roles, the uh, font, the grammarian, timer, all counter at the beginning. Again, still overall a good job. General notes, room balance, great job not putting everyone on one side of the room. We used to have this very big problem where everyone would sit on the left side one day, and then another day we'd have everyone sit on the other side. It really hurt the, hurt someone or who's speaking up here to focus on whether it's on the left side or right side and so forth. So great job with you guys unconsciously dealing with that. <laughs> Being late, make sure if you do come in late, uh, wait for the applause, and make sure you don't go to the center of the stage, go around it. And last thing, make sure that laptops are prepared and you test your technology ahead of time. That's it. Just make sure clickers are working, make sure your PowerPoint's up, don't set it up during the meeting. Overall, good meeting so far. It looks like we're almost out of time. I would just work on making sure we cut down on certain sections and chatter in between the rounds or in between the uh, parts of the meeting, but uh, thank you. Make sure, to vote. Make sure to vote for your best evaluator and give feedback for me as general evaluator. And I'd like to introduce back up to the stage, Slate. Right. Uh, Fonda Day, our general evaluator for this meeting. Of course, great evaluation all around. And that is the conclusion of our meeting. So I want to thank you all for being, being able to be your Toastmaster. And just going to voice what he said again. Just great meeting overall. And with that, I'd like to welcome Tyler Chan, our president, back on stage. That's right. Another round of applause for Slate. Very good time. If you told me that was your first time, I wouldn't have told you.